Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. In uh, today's session, we will look at an introduction to your uh, auto scaling groups. Now, auto scaling groups is another important uh, component that we have in your um, EC2 service, and uh, this is something that you will most likely end up uh, using when you're working um, in your project. So, auto scaling, as the name suggests, that's basically um, managing your scalability of your EC2 instances. So, how you can uh, scale up your instances and scale down your instances. So, in this session, we will look at your introduction. We'll try to understand uh, what your auto scaling groups are. We'll also look at some of the features your auto scaling group provides, uh, and then we'll also look at some of the benefits um, that your auto scaling group provides. So, auto scaling groups. Like I said, it helps you to ensure that you always have the right number of instances for your application. So this auto scaling uh, component will automatically help us to maintain that number of instances. All right. So whatever the application that we are running to handle the load on that application, we also need to make sure we have the right number of capacity, the right number of instances. Right. So that's where your auto scaling comes in which will help you to automatically handle this for us so in this case let's say i have my application which is running behind ec2 instances so if my application needs 10 ec2 instances my auto scaling group will handle that for me my auto scaling will um, uh, make sure my application has 10 ec2 instances to handle the load on the application so with this auto scaling we create a group of uh, ec2 instances the collection of ec2 instances and this collection of ec2 instances we call it as your auto scaling groups all right so it's your group of ec2 instances now with this whenever you are creating your auto scaling groups there are two ways that you can work with this one is you can specify your uh, fixed capacity as to no matter what the load is i want five ec2 instances and my auto scaling group will ensure that it always maintains five ec2 instances no matter what happens so in case where an ec2 instance goes down for some reason my auto scaling group will automatically spin up a new instance making sure i always have five ec2 instances and the other option we have is uh, scaling the capacity so based on uh, certain metrics like the CPU utilization or the uh, network utilization I want to increase and decrease the load now in that case we can specify your minimum number of instances now whenever we specify this minimum number of instances for example one my auto scaling group will ensure that it will never go below that size so it will make sure I always have one EC2 instance running likewise you can also specify your maximum number of instances and again here your auto scaling group will ensure that it will never go above that size for example let's say uh, the maximum capacity you will need is 10 ec2 instances so i can tell my maximum number as 10 and the auto scaling group will ensure that the maximum it can scale up is up to 10 instances it will not go above that so even if we uh, even if the application needs more instances, it won't get it because of the maximum capacity that we have set. Likewise, we can also define our desired capacity. So, uh, you know, what is the um, uh, capacity that we need? And again, your auto scaling group will um, ensure that we have that many instances. So, we can specify your minimum instances, we can specify the maximum instances, and we can also specify the desired capacity. And auto scaling group uses this to scale up and scale down uh, the EC2 instances to handle the load on our application. So, uh, this is the other option I was telling you, which is uh, specifying the scaling policy. So, under this, what happens is the auto scaling group will automatically terminate instances and launch new instances based on the demand on the application. So, if the uh, load on the application increases or decreases based on that, auto scaling group will automatically scale up and scale down. So, essentially, that is what your auto scaling group is. Auto scaling group can be used whenever you want to uh, automate the scaling up and scaling down of your EC2 instances. Now, next, we'll look at some of the features uh, provided by your auto scaling group. So, the first feature we have is monitoring the health of your uh, running EC2 instances. So, auto scaling group 
um, helps you to automatically so it automatically monitors your um, ec2 instances for the overall health and the availability of your ec2 instances so like i said you know let's say we are going with the fixed capacity where i'm telling that i need five instances now what auto scaling group will do is it will monitor the overall health of these five instances and also the availability of these five instances so for some reason let's say one of the instance goes down my auto scaling group since it is monitoring it my auto scaling group gets to know that and it will replace that with new instances making sure i always have the five instances so that's where it continuously monitors your uh, instances for the health and availability of these instances the next feature we have is balancing the capacity across availability zones so um making sure we are using multiple availability zones that's very important for uh, making our infrastructure highly available so auto scaling groups whenever we are creating it we will need to specify multiple availability zones and then whenever our auto scaling group is launching instances it will balance these instances across this availability zones that we have defined so it will evenly distribute our instances across this availability zones and this ensures that we have the high availability and resiliency for uh, the application that we are running on these ec2 instances the next feature we have is load balancing we also have the option of integrating uh, auto scaling groups with load balancer so what we can do is we have our instances the instances will be behind the load balancers and then we can have this load balancers behind the auto scaling groups so whenever um, uh, new instances are launched we can uh, add those the auto scaling group can add those to your load balancer so we can make use of your load balancings and also health checks which can help us to distribute the application traffic to your healthy instances so whenever your auto scaling group launches new instances or uh, terminates instances it will automatically register and deregister these instances with your load balancer so we have that um, uh, option as well the next feature we have is scalability all right so auto scaling uh, like i said the whole point of this is scaling up and scaling down of your ec2 instances so auto scaling group also provides several ways for you to scale your um, uh, auto scaling group so uh, we can make use of your fixed capacity we can make use of your auto scaling which allows you to maintain the availability of your infrastructure for your application and this helps you to reduce your cost so unnecessary cost so like let's say your application needs only three instances so instead of running five instances my auto scaling group will ensure that it is only running three instances and this helps us to reduce our cost to lower our overall billing uh, and the final feature we have is your instance refresh so uh, instance refresh feature it basically it's a mechanism which updates the instances in a rolling fashion whenever we update our ami or the launch template so let's say we have created an auto scaling group by using an ami and now we have updated this ami maybe we have added some new features um, so we have this instance refresh uh, feature available which will update these instances in a rolling fashion so one after the other we can also go with a phased approach which is known as your canary deployment which is to test a new ami or your launch template on a small set of instances before rolling it out to the whole group even that option is available so these are some of the features that your auto scaling group provides um, uh, which makes it a, a highly recommended uh, feature to use when you're working with your um, ec2 service next we'll look at some of the benefits that your auto scaling group uh, provides so the first benefit we have is better fault tolerance for your application so your auto scalings it can uh, detect whenever uh, your instance is unhealthy it will terminate those instances and launch a new instance to replace that instance so we have an application running on an instance and let's say that application is um, unstable your auto scaling group um, can detect that it will remove that instance and replace that with a healthy instance so that your application is available again we can also configure auto scaling to use multiple availability zones so if one availability zone becomes available um, unavailable auto scaling group can launch instances in another one to compensate so 
again whenever we talk about making your infrastructure highly available uh, making sure uh, we use multiple availability zones that is that is what we have so whenever we create your uh, auto scaling groups we have to ensure that uh, we go with uh, multi az's so that your infrastructure is highly available the next benefit we have is better availability right so your auto scaling groups that helps you to ensure that your application always has the right amount of capacity right amount of ec2 instances to handle the traffic demand so to handle the load of your application uh, your auto scaling group will ensure you always have the right capacity uh, right set of uh, servers to handle this load so we get a better availability with your application and the final uh, benefit we have is better cost management now this is very important so instead of manually managing the scalability of your uh, infrastructure sometimes we will end up over provisioning the infrastructure and will end up spending too much money where it is not required with your auto scaling group because we have automated the scalability we will only pay the money when the servers are actually needed so we get a better cost management so auto scaling group can dynamically increase and decrease your capacity as and when they are needed and because we only pay for the ec2 instances that we use we end up saving money by launching these instances when they are actually needed and then terminating the same instances when they are not needed so we have a better cost management so these are some of the very important uh, benefits um, of your uh, auto scaling groups the last thing is your pricing so uh, you know whether we'll be paying any money for your auto scaling groups or not now we don't have to pay any separate cost for your auto scaling groups itself uh, so we can go ahead and try it out see how it is working whether it will benefit our aws infrastructure or not we can do that we don't have to pay any additional fees however we would still have to pay money for the other aws resources that uh, we will use with the auto scaling groups like the ec2 instances the ebs volumes the cloudwatch alarms uh, that we uh, use with your auto scaling groups um, so that's about your introduction to your auto scaling groups so once again auto scaling groups can be used uh, whenever you want to automate the scaling up and scaling down of your ec2 instances to handle the load on your application we can implement your um, auto scaling groups uh, in the upcoming sessions i'll be showing you examples so we'll see two examples one is with your fixed capacity and then we'll also look at your scaling policy how your auto scaling group automatically scales up and scales uh, down based on the load uh, on the server we will uh, look at that example as well that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video